Today I'm going to explain how to set the bed level and print height on a Cerberus or actually any Delta 3D printer. I hope this is informative and uh, somebody can make use of it. So basically what we've got is uh, a glass plate or a print surface of some sort and in our case it's attached at three locations. This allows you to set you know, the level of this glass surface. And what we're going to try to do is make sure that our our print and the uh, the actual nozzle, the tip right here, um, is level at all three at all three points down here and here. Okay, so uh, we can do this uh, most easily through um, Repetier, which is the firmware that's actually on our uh, Aztec X3 controller. And um, let's see here. Let's get Repetier up. And uh, there's a really cool feature in Repetier, which is found. Okay, so normally people see this screen right here, manual control, but there's actually a G code editor. And most of the time you see it's set to G code. Now I don't have anything loaded over here, but if you had uh, G code that you had sliced, and it would be loaded in here and visualized by layers, and you would see that G code in this window over here. And that's fine and dandy, but what's neat is that you can also write a whole bunch of different types of scripts uh, in here. And so what I've done is I've set up scripts 1, 2, and 3, actually, and 4, uh, to help me do uh, bed leveling. So I'll start with script number 1. And uh, I use this to level the bed on the Cerberus Pup, which is a small printer, but also on the Cerberus, which is a larger printer. And what I do is I do a G0, which is the move command, and then I tell it to go to an XY coordinate and then Z of 0. And so we'll send this script to the printer right now. And you do that by going over to Printer, Send Script 1. And I'll bring the camera back over here. So you can see what it's going to do. It's going to do a... See that? It, t it came down to a point right next to the X vertical extrusion. And I won't really show you, um, well actually hold on a second, I'm going to do that one more time. Uh, so printer, send script number one, and what I do is I take a piece of paper, like this, a thin sheet of paper, and you get it there so that you can just just move the paper back and forth underneath there. Okay, well how do you do that? Well that's pretty simple. You have this adjuster here. Now this, what happens is this um, uh, screw here, you, I can turn this in with my fingers. I made this specifically so that you could turn this with your fingers because getting a, getting a little Allen wrench in there is a little bit difficult. So if it's too low, then what you do is you turn this out. It's actually, um, when you go up with it, let's see, down goes up, so actually you want to turn it, turn it to go down ever so slightly, like a quarter of a turn, and then we'll run that script again. Printer send script number one, and then it'll come down. money. So if, you're, if your nozzle is, is good, trying to go through the bed or if you have too large of a gap, then obviously your printer is not set to, to Z0 at that particular point. Well that's fine and dandy for that point, but we need to do the same thing for the center of the bed and also for the ends. So we'll do script number two. Script number two is just over here. You can see what this one does is it sends the carriage to the other side on the X but leaves the Y about the same. So we'll send this one. We'll move our piece of paper to the other side. Home's at the top. Comes back down. 
and once again we just have slight drag on the paper. So this is adjusted correctly, but if it were not correct, then you would turn this end stop screw up or down to set the height down here. And we'll do, we'll go to, okay, let's see, um, script number three. This one sets it to X zero and then pushes the carriage to that back corner over there. And we'll run this one. Printer send script three. Paper. My wife's lovely note paper here. And once again, it just just has the lightest bit of drag on the paper itself. And you would adjust that using that screw over there. So let's just do one last one, and that is script number four, which is actually very simple. There's nothing there. So what we'll do is it'll be G0. Actually, first of all, G28. Let's do a home first. It always brings it up to home. And then G0, which is the move. And then we'll do X0 space Y0 space, Z, zero, space, and then the speed, which is 9,000. Okay. It's not, it should be, yeah, F9,000. There it is. We'll save that. And now we can move off of script 3, and when we hit script 4 again, you'll see that it saved it there. And we'll come over here, and we'll go printer, send script 4. Down it comes, and it has just the lightest bit of drag on it right there as well. Now, if it was not touching the, with the amount, same amount of drag on all four points, then what you've got is either a bowing or a cupping of the, of the movement. And so what will happen is if it's, if it's not touching here but touching on the three points, you'll end up with... A, different layer heights as you print out in different areas. So there's actually a way to fix that as well. And it's done in the firmware. And we'll open up uh, Repetier. I'm going to show you how to, how to make adjustments to the firmware to make sure that the bed is perfectly straight across, not just level, but also not cupped or bowed. And so what I need to do first is actually find that place. Um, so this is, this is uh, the Repetier firmware, and I'm using the Arduino program, and we are in the configuration.h file. Okay, let's see if I can focus. It's not focusing. Okay, configuration.h file. And these settings are... are kind of all over the place, but what we want to do is we want to find, um, here we go. Okay, so the file that you need to change the number on, or the location I should say, is uh, one of these, okay? It could be either the end effector horizontal offset, the carriage horizontal offset, or the printer radius. And I typically like to change the delt, the carriage horizontal offset. Now these these numbers are really just used to end up with a, a final calculation, which is delta radius. So it's printer radius minus the end effector horizontal offset minus the carriage horizontal offset. So, offset. so they're just basically subtracting all these numbers to end up with the delta radius. But the important thing to know is that if you adjust the carriage horizontal offset up or down by millimeters or tenths of a millimeter, you can change the way that the printer um, hot end moves across. So it'll either bow or cup, depending on changing this number up and down. Um, and I guess I could burn that through right now, but it takes a long time to burn. So just play with that number if it's not if it's bowed or cupped.
you one last thing, which is a really nice way of changing the height of the entire uh, Z without having to change the uh, without having to turn the end stops. I used to always come in and you know I want to I want to raise the whole bed by half a millimeter. Well, I'd come in and I'd turn these uh, by a set amount to get it to move up or down. And then I realized that it's much easier if you're in Repetier and you go into Config and you go into Firmware EEPROM Configuration and you just come down and you find, um, oh, where is it? Here we go. Max Length Z. Right here. Max, max Length Z. And you can just change this. This is basically the height that the printer knows that it has to be at from the top of the end stops down to where the effector is touching the glass plate the hot end is touching the glass plate so if I were to make my printer shorter then it would just raise the um, uh, it would raise the hot end if I were to make it longer it would lower the hot end so once you've leveled your bed uh, on all three cor corners and you made sure that it's not bowed or cupped then you can just come into here, change these numbers, and I'll just change it to some ridiculous number like 460, like that. It's actually very, very quick to do, and uh, you just hit OK, and boom, it's already burned into the firmware. And so all we have to do now is just uh, um, come over here, we'll do a printer send script 4. And you can see now that home is is 10 millimeters. I've just moved the home position. Uh, the entire bed is now 10 millimeters higher because I've just effectively shortened the the knowledge of the printer as to where the the uh, bed should be. So if you want to add um, a heated plate to this, uh, you know, or some other some other type of material on top of this surface, you could just go into E Prom settings and change that number up or down until you've got yourself your new. Uh, bed height. So I'll go change that back now and uh, let's see it's over on config firmware EEPROM configuration and it's just down here at the bottom so I actually want it to be 470 like that and um, then OK and we can send script number 4 again There it is. It's on the money. I hope that was helpful. I hope it wasn't too boring. And uh, if you like it, let me know, and I will post up more videos on how to do specific uh, tuning or changing firmware items uh, for Cerberus and for Delta printers.